to really put the First Anteaters the having to play really good defense and really block at the net. The the and they are back at three, home playing against a very tough UC Irvine team, ranked number four in the nation, but they're here, no stranger to playing four, against ranked opponents. Three, Earlier in the season, they faced number one Long Beach State, number 10 UC Santa Barbara, and they ended up beating number 11 Cal State Northridge. And there's a lot more ranked opponents on the rest of the schedule. The Anteaters only two losses this season, Phil, have come at the hands of ranked opponents and they will have a couple more get matches against ranked opponents coming up in the future they got they're going to play Pepperdine who's ranked number 6 right now and a couple other schools as well and they are a very good team they're sitting number 4 right now not far off of that top one or two spots in the coaches poll and then you look at the lope schedule as well and later on in their season they also play a bunch of ranked teams uh, i think we looked at their schedule and they had about what nine straight games where they played against ranked teams that's right they're gonna have just a, another uh they're gonna play a non-ranked opponent tomorrow and then they'll go on the road for a pair of games one of those is going to be at number 15 usc they'll get a break and then they're immediately into the heart of conference play against nine straight ranked teams inside the top ten. Well, we know Coach, Coach Worley likes to keep it tough for the Lopes, and again, a tough competition against number four UC Irvine. But let's see what the Lopes have to do to get their victories as we take a look at the Sanderson forward. Three keys to the game. The first key tonight for the Lopes is going to be getting that two-headed monster and of Christian Janke and Will Schwobe going early. Get the Anteaters trying to guess who they're going to go to. And if they can get the two of them going and a couple other role players going, the Lopes are going to be very dangerous. The second key to tonight's game is defense. The Lopes pride themselves on the defensive end. They have a great attack, but their defense is even better. They've only been outblocked in one game this season, and that was at San Diego. They are they average 2.76 blocks per set, which ranks top of their conference right now. And also on the defensive end, Cole Udall is top 10 in the conference in digs and has three double-digit dig performances of his own. Thirdly, Phil, the Lopes are going to want to keep their home winning streak alive. They've won both home matches they've had this season, and they're going to want to keep it rolling here and stay undefeated in this very tough Antelope gym environment. Well, we'll take a look at the starting lineups brought to you by Dignity Health on the side of the Anteaters. It's number two, Dante Shakavorti. Number three, Joel Schinnenmeyer. Number seven, Aaron Kuby. Number 13, Scott Static. Number 16, Carl Apelvach. And number 18, Austin Wilmot. And then you look at the side of the Lopes, usual suspects, Trevor Weary, Honor Okur, Christian Janke, who we mentioned, Will Schwob, Kyle Thompson, Alex Malev, and Cole Udall. And you talk about somebody who's having an impact. How about the season Christian Janke is having, coming in at that outsider position, outside hitter position, that was taken over by Shalev Zahada last season, the senior graduated, now the freshman stepping in and making a huge impact for this team, leading this team in kills. He's got 153 kills on the year, has yet to have a non-double digit kill performance. And Christian Jenke has really just inserted himself into this lineup and has really gelled with the rest of his teammates. And they have rewarded him with set after set and kill after kill. Well, Trevor Weary will get things going and as we are about to get ready for the first set here in the Antelope Gymnasium. It's sent away. Sent over. Schindenmeyer drops it in. Point will go to UC Irvine. So now the Anteaters will have an opportunity to score points. Shakavorti sends it over. Weary. And a little miscommunication as it drops in between some players. And it looked like Alex Shmalev just jumped a little too soon on his approach and then tried to tip it over. And by that time, he was already too far into the jump and the ball was a little bit behind him. Well, it's set to way weary. Shakur back over and out of bounds. Nice block up front by UC Irvine and sending Will Schwab's hit out of bounds. So three to nothing for the Anteaters, and we knew this was going to be a tough competition, and we'll see if the Lopes can sort of rally back here early. Chuck Avorti will continue to serve. Sent over. Set up. 
Jenke's got it for the first point for the Lopes. Christian Jenke, the freshman with the kill. And that right there is exactly what the Lopes want to see. One swing, one kill, one point to really get them on the board and back in this game and get some momentum going. Shmalev will serve. Sends it over and service error. So four to one will go to score. And now it'll be Joel Schindenmeyer, another leading player for UC Irvine. The sophomore with 166 kills. He got nine earlier today against Charleston. The 2018 Big West Freshman of the Year, or the reigning, I should say. Lopes will keep it up. Janky sends it back over and out of bounds. Just missed off the block and just missed the line on that kill from Janky. He's going to want to either hit that block and make it go out of bounds or put it somewhere in the middle of the floor and have it drop. Schindemeyer will send it over. Janky blocked up front and out of bounds. Five to two goes the score. Sakur will serve. He sends it over. It spiked and another point for the Lopes, three to five. Sakur will continue to serve three to five here in the first set. Spike down, Sakur keeps it up. Udall, Janky sends it over. Weary, secure, send it up again for Janky off the fingers. It's going to go out of bounds. Four to five goes to score. Secure will continue to serve. And Christian Janky has scored all of the Lopes points so far. When sent over. Spike attempt. Sakur will keep it up. Udall sends it over. Schwab dropped again. Off the net and another point. We're tied five to five. Sakur will serve. Lopes tied up here in the first set. Off the fingers and out of bounds. So the Anteaters finally respond after a little bit of a stretch for GCU. And the score will go 6-5. to five. Lopes did a good job of getting on a 4-0 run to get themselves tied. Just missed that block and it just went out of bounds off the fingertips. You know, nice tip over the top. Another a great block up front by UC Irvine. It'll be sent over. Udall. Over to Sakura. He's going to get it to Schwab. It's going to fall. It'll be another point. GCU 6 to 7. Janky will serve the freshman phenom for GCU. Sends it over. Beautiful shot. Tipped up. It's going to stay. Janky. Secure. Looking for the spike. Will Schwab putting it down. We're tied again. Janky will continue to serve. We're tied. Jenke sends it over. Udall going to touch. Udall is going to send it over. Spike down. Oh, nice touch over the top by Austin Wilmot. 
for UC Irvine, eight to seven. Beautiful rally by the Lopes and some great hustle by Trevor Weary. Weary and Schwab putting all they can into that point, just they couldn't win it after great hustle from Will Schwab to keep it alive. Secure. Weary's gonna touch. Anyone get a finger on it? Yeah, no, they're gonna call it off the Lopes. Look like it may have touched the, f the fingers of the front court for UC Irvine, but they're gonna call it point UC Irvine. It sure looked like it got a <laughs> piece of the fingers there. Apfelbach will continue to serve for the Anteaters. Janky, Shakur, weary, off the net, too many hands, gonna be another point. Sakur just set that one a little bit behind Weary, and Weary tried to adjust. And as he adjusted, he hit it just a little bit short. Eiffelbach will well, continue to serve 7 to 10 here in the first set. And sent over. Janky serves it up to. Ooh. Sakur serving one up to Janky, but it goes. Out of bounds, 11 to seven, timeout for the Lopes, and we'll take one as well. You're watching men's volleyball here on GCU TV. Hi, I'm Brittany, and this is <laughs> Ask Music. Hi, I'm Brittany Holwin, and you should watch Ask GCU, where we answer your questions every week. And the points don't matter. Wait, what? Tune in every week for answers to be questioned. Where we answer your questions in a common, in a, all right. professional manner. <laughs> Tweet hashtag AskGCU to get your question featured. inside a loud antelope gymnasium the score 11 to 7 here in the first half and we talked about christian janky and he's playing pretty well right now three points i'm sorry three kills so far for the freshman and he's a big part of the reason why the lopes are in this game that's right they're trying to get christian janky really rolling and the anteaters have adjusted nicely and they got him janky put the lopes on that first 4-0 run when they tied it at five and then the Anteaters have found an answer, and the Lopes are now trying to maybe get Will Schwab and um, Alex Shmalev going, but they have struggled lately. Sakura to Weary. That's going to fall to be a point for the Lopes. 8 to 11. Trevor, Re the sophomore Trevor Weary has really been a nice addition to this starting lineup. He's worked his way into the lineup for the Lopes, and he's really been able to produce. Kyle Thompson will send it over. Schwab keeps it up. Weary tips it over. Oh. Aaron Kuby with another beautiful touch over the net. Whoops. Again, doing a good job of, of keeping the rallies going, but unfortunately, just UC Irvine is finding their spots and they're finding points. And the Lopes show that great hustle. They just have to find a way that when that happens and they keep the ball alive to really oh. find a way to get that point, as that was just an errant pass from the back line that the Anteaters were able to just stuff back down the throat of the Lopes. Yeah, Joel Schneidmeyer sending that one down hard in between the Lopes front court. Ball sent over. Janky, Secure, Weary, looking for a touch. Oh, just barely tipped back over. Secure to Schwab. Schwab's gonna touch. In between, and will fall in for another point. Yeah, and either Sakur or Janky's got to step up there as it dropped in between them. Sakur played it a little bit shorter, and Janky played it longer. And they just got to communicate on that back line. Udall serves it up. Will Schwab sends one down, 9 to 14. That's what the Lopes love out of their senior, Will Schwab. 
He's able to find spots, and he is second on this team in kills. Schwab sends it over. Anteater is spiked down hard again by Schneidmiller. Joel Schneidmiller again with a hard spike. And another point for the Anteaters. The reigning Big West Freshman of the Year, Joel Schneidmeyer. Sixteen to nine after that block, and we have a timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. You're watching men's volleyball here on GCU TV. About time we washed it. Getting ready to trade it in. What are you doing? Just a little shopping. Wait, a new truck. Don't you think I should be involved? Of course. We'll head over to Sanderson Ford as soon as I'm done. I don't have time today. Hope we're going with four doors this time. Ooh, of course. I know exactly what I want. I mean, we want. A lightning blue Ford F-150 Super Crew with EcoBoost. All done. Shop from home, buy from home, we deliver. From the dealer you can trust, Sanderson Ford. Thunder in the heart of Phoenix. GCULopes.com. 16 to 9 is the score here in this first set. Lopes down by not too much and hopefully looking for another rally that they had earlier in this first set. Hopefully can translate that into some points in a uh, rally after the timeout. Last time they called a timeout, they ended up scoring. So only a matter of time before GCU gets on the board again. They're going to have to regain composure really get this crowd back into it because they really feed off of the energy from everyone that shows up as this gym is packed once again people were still filing in early on looks like everyone's just now getting settled in and now the lopes got to find a way to get them fired up bobby sent over janky to shakur off the hands trevor weary another timeout another point for gcu 10-16 off the serve from Wilmot, GCU able to find a point. And exactly what the Lopes drew up in that timeout was come back out, get a point. They did it quickly. Weary sends it over. Schneidmiller sets one up to Static. Static back to Schneidmiller, out of bounds. We talked about the rally earlier in the first set, earlier in this first set. Hopefully GCU can do the same thing here later. Weary. Almost kept alive, but just too low. And it'll be another point for the Anteaters. Shaka Vordy will go ahead and serve after scoring that point for Irvine. Udall, Sakur, spike down. Small up with a point, 12 to 17. Just when Irvine thought they might get momentum back, the Lopes answer, get another point. Shmolev sends it over. Shaka Vorty setting something up, and they'll find points again. Scott Static, 18 to 12. Schneidmiller will serve again for UC Irvine. And he'll serve it right into the net, 13-18. Secure. Jaka Vorti sets it up. Udall will hustle, keeping the rally going, Weary. Sends it over. 
Oh, and it goes out of bounds. Very, very close to another point for GCU. Line. Just missed that line. Trevor Weary might be do, trying to do a little too much on that one. Just needs to send that over and set up on defense. Johnny Bulls will step in for UC Irvine. He'll take the serve. 19 to 13 in the first set. Sent over. Weary. Shakur is going to have to keep it up, and it's going to be a point. Because it's going to be a net violation on GCU. So 20 to 13. Lopes looking for a late rally here. Keep this first set interesting. As, excuse me, as uh, Bowles will continue to serve. Another point for UC Irvine, 21-13. Bowles, out of bounds. 14 to 21 on that side out. Lopes don't have a lot of room for error left in this set. They're down by seven. Jenke will serve, looking for a late rally here in the first set. Jenke sends it over. Spiked for another point. Austin Wilmont, another point for the Anteaters. And now April Bach will go ahead and serve. And right into the net, 15 to 12. Coming in for the Lopes, number eight, Heath Hughes. Heath Hughes to serve. Heath Hughes getting an opportunity here. Hughes sends it over. Shaka Vorty sets it up right into the hands of GCU, and it goes out of bounds. Good block up front by Weary and Shalev, but just falls on the wrong side of the court. Yeah, that time they finally got to one of the blocks and were able to get their hands on it, just not able to keep it in play. Kubi. Sends it over. Secure. Schwab looking for the block. It's going to be out of bounds on the Anteaters. Will Schwab to serve. Schwab will serve for GCU 16 to 23. Schwab sends it over. And it's going to be point for the Lopes. Yeah, that one off the antenna. And if you hit the antenna, it's out of bounds. It's not like if you hit the line, the antenna signal, uh, represents out of bounds in volleyball. Schwab sends it over. Whoops, looking to keep the rally going. They will not. Point 17. UC Irvine looking to close out this first set, and GCU trying to sneak it away from them. Sets in the air. Janky. Secure. Weary. Sent over again. Spike down, and that is how the first set will end. UC Irvine getting set one. Loves to look to recover and pick up set two. When we come back, set two. You're watching men's volleyball here on GCU TV. Performance is your profession. You excel in bringing the best out of people. Through leadership and insight, you help others fulfill their promise. You share a unique bond with your family and cherish your time together. But you strive to take the next step in your career. 
GCU's online degree program in performance psychology will enhance your skills in helping others succeed. Master your craft in an online PhD program that puts innovation and technology at the heart of education. And you can do it all within a tight schedule without disrupting other aspects of your life. With a PhD in performance psychology, you'll have the tools you need to elevate your performance to the next level. When human excellence meets cutting edge technology, business advances. Find your purpose at GCU, where advanced technologies drive education. Private, Christian, affordable, nonprofit. Visit gcu.edu slash online. Back here for set two, UC Irvine getting the better of GCU 25 to 17. And you know, you don't have to go too far back. The last time these two teams played was right here in the uh, Antelope Gymnasium against UC Irvine, obviously. It was last year. And similar things have happened. The Lopes were down in the first set, but ended up taking the uh, game all the way to five. That's right. UC Irvine came into this building last season, ranked number six. Lopes did ultimately lose that game three sets to two. But after last season, they have proven to themselves that they can compete with this very good UC Irvine team. And they are right there. They just have to find a way to get rolling. And when they get their hands on something, they got to make sure it blocks. Well, they just got done with the first set. So let's reiterate our Sanderson Ford three keys to the game, see what the Lopes need to do to get back into the second. Well, that first key was trying to get Schwab and Janky going. And Schwab and Janky both have three kills apiece. And they're just, the Anteaters seem to have an answer for them so far. Let's see if the Lopes can get them really rolling in the second set. The second key was defense. The Lopes need to be a little bit better on the defensive end. No, where they haven't been able to get their hands on a lot of uh, attacks from the Anteaters. And when they have, they have seemed to just deflect and go out of bounds. So they got to find a way to keep the blocks inbounds and really watch the, the line and the tips because you see Irvine really does a great job of all around attacking. And thirdly was just try to keep that home winning streak alive, which they will look to crawl their way back in here in the second set. Down one set to none. Lopes coming into this game 2-0 at home at the Antelope Gymnasium and UC Irvine now 6-2 on the road coming in today. We're 5-2. They beat Charleston earlier today. So it's a new set and we're ready to get things going. GCU hoping to draw this game to at least four. Shaka Vordi will serve for the Anteaters as we get this second set ready to go. Shaka Vordi so far, one kill. Two digs. And he is ready to go for the second set. Schwab. Blocked by that front defense of Joel Schinnenmeyer. Bounces off of Will Schwab's hand and goes out of bounds. Good looking attack, however, from the Lopes on that one. Just not ready defensively for the block and the rebounding ball. Hughes sets it up. Who was sent way out of bounds on Kyle Thompson. Giacovorti will continue to serve. 2-0 lead for UC Irvine. Hughes sets it up. Schwab looking for the touch over the top. Thompson on the recovery. He goes out of bounds. Another block up front for UC Irvine. Having a tough time breaking through the wall of Carl Apelbatch and Joel Schinnenmeyer. The Lopes have a really young lineup on the floor right now with four freshmen, a sophomore, and a senior. Where he gets things going, three to one. And there's the sophomore Weary getting involved and getting the kill. 
So it looked like Coach Worley was just trying to see how his freshman would respond in a big game after giving up a couple points in a row. Locked up front. Jenke keeping it alive. Hughes setting it up. Weary again. Nice dive by UC Irvine. Jenke over to Hughes. Back over to Weary. Weary sends it out of bounds. Point Anteaters. Lopes are looking really good to start this match on the attack. They've just had a couple of errors and some miscommunication. And if they can find a way to fix that, they'll find themselves right back in this match. Schneidmiller sends it over. Janky. Hughes. Setting it up for Schwab again. Just passed. Just passed Cole Udall. Five to one going the score here in the second set. Shad Miller will serve again. Sent down almost immediately by Scott Static. Six to one now, Anteaters lead. And Scott Static is the reigning defensive player of the week in the Big West. So the Anteaters really lean on him in that front line. He also leads the team in blocks. Scott Static, the big seven footer for uh, UC Irvine. Hughes, Weary, off the hands. UC Irvine keeps the rally going. Hughes, over to Udall, back up to Weary. Weary off the fingers, point Lopes. So Trevor Weary starting this set off with both kills for the Lopes and both their points. Will Schwab will serve for GCU. Ball sent away. Off the hands, Jenky's gonna dive and he's not gonna get to it. Apfelbach again with another point, seven to two. Static. Static will serve. Udall to Hughes. Hughes up to Jenky. That's gonna be a point for the Lopes, seven to three. Weary. Sends it away, 7-3 deficit for GCU. And it's gonna find the back side of the court, another point. Trevor Weary with the ace. Great serve, found the edge of the line in the back row. Can't pick quite a better spot than that. Weary, again! Oh no, that one goes out. It looked good from our angle. But it's going to be a, a point for UC Irvine. He Eight said, to four. He said, why fix what ain't broke, right? Yeah. That time just missed the line. Eiffelbach. Side out, or it'll be a point for GCU. So they almost get that point back from uh, Trevor Weary's miss serve. Shmalev will serve for GCU. Just right in front of Trevor Weary. Going to be a point for Kubi. Kubi with a 9 to 5 lead sends it away. Udall, Hughes over to Jenke off the hand and out of bounds. 6 to 9 here in the second set. Good job from the low, really feeding Janky in this set. They're trying to get him going. And so far, two attacks and two kills for him. Hughes sends it over. Ah, it's going to find right in front of Trevor Weary again. 10 to 6 goes the score. Austin Wilmot to serve. 
Austin Wilmot. Hughes sets it up for Thompson off the fingers and out of bounds. Kyle Thompson with the point. Another freshman for the Lopes, Kyle yeah. Thompson. He's playing tonight for Caleb Blazer. Not exactly sure where Blazer is, but the Lopes are missing him right now, especially on that front line. All right, in between Janky and Udall. And another point. Shakavorty sends it over. Hughes keeping it alive. Over to Weary off the fingers. Another big block by that front court of Static and Ampelbach. Shaq Avordi will serve 12 to 7 substitutions for GCU. Jack Burton will come in and Trevor Weary will come out. Burton, the redshirt junior out of Boiling Brook, Illinois. Shaq Avordi. And again, the front court of UC, Ir of UC Irvine. And we'll have a timeout on the floor. When we come back, we'll get the rest of the second set. You're watching men's volleyball here on GCU TV. It's not about where you were born. It's not about your gender. Or the color of your skin whether you're rich, poor, or in the middle. No matter what you play, if you have the skill and drive to succeed in school and in sports, we'll provide the opportunity. When my hot water heater failed, she was pregnant, in-laws were coming, a little bit of water, it really, it rocked our world. I had no idea the amount of damage that water could do. We called USAA, and they, they greeted me as they always do. Sergeant Baker, how are you? They were on it. It was unbelievable. Having insurance is something everyone needs, but having USAA, that's a privilege. We're the Bakers and we're USAA members for life. USAA, get your insurance quote today. 13 to seven here in the second set. It seems like every time GCU has called a timeout, they've been able to find points. So hopefully they can continue that coming off this timeout down 13 to seven. Right, the Lopes have had very good success out at breaks and timeouts. So they'll look to keep that success rolling right here. Shaka Vordy will serve. Hughes up to Thompson, blocked again up top, and it'll be a point for UC Irvine. Static with another block, 14 to seven goes the score. And Shakavorty will keep serving. So this time it's UC Irvine finding a point after a Lopes timeout. Udall, Jenke keeps it alive. And they're saying he hit it twice. Shakavorty will keep serving 15 to seven now in the second set. Hughes, kept alive by UC Irvine, sent back over. Hughes keeps it off the chest. Udall, Burton, Thompson, sent back over by Janky. And it'll be a point for UC Irvine. That's Shock. That's that defense that the Lopes need to really get rolling on. They gotta be able to cover the blocks. Hughes up to Schwab again. That front, that front line of UC Irvine is so tough. And that time the Lopes were there off that block, just not quite ready as that block just comes so quick because the Anteaters are so tall. They don't have to jump as high. You know, seven feet with your arms straight up yeah. is basically nine. Burton off the hands of the front D 
defense here of UC Irvine. Point for GCU, 8-7. to seven. And how do you combat big, tall front line? You go right off their hands. Yeah, I guess so. Thompson sends it over. Way over, it'll go out of bounds. Schneidmiller sent over. Udall with the dive. Hughes keeps it up. Sent down. Janky. Great save. Schwob off the fingers. Shakavorty sends it back and it's going to drop. 19 to 8. Maybe got a push on that one of those hits. On that initial dive, it looked like he might have lifted with the open palm, at least from our angle. That's what it looked like to me. Maybe he didn't. Schneidmiller will serve. Sent over. Hughes. Burton off the shoulder and out of bounds. Jack Burton with a point, 9 to 19. Wilbs down 10 in the first, second set, excuse me, and Will Schwab will serve. See if Schwab can get the Lopes on a little bit of a run starting with this serve. Shaka Vorty. Kobe with the drop, Hughes. Over to Burton, Burton again, it's gonna be a point. Back to back Jack Burton points. When you can't get Janky or Schwab going, you try and find someone else, and it looks like the Lopes have found Jack Burton, and he's really been capitalizing on his chances. Schwab sends it over. Shakavorty setting something up. Kept alive. Back over to Burton again, off the fingers. Hughes over to Udall. Back to Burton. Rally continues. Off the fingers again. Janky over to Hughes. Burton off the face. It's another point. Three Jack Burton points, 11 to 19. And you keep feeding the hot hand if you're the Lopes right now. Go right back to Jack Burton and see if the Anteaters can stop one of them. Schwob. And that's how the rally will end for GCU. A side out on Will Schwob, 11 to 20 now. But a good rally for GCU, centered around number seven, Jack Burton. Bulls will serve 20 to 11. UC Irvine leads GCU here in the second set. Right into the net. Point for GCU, 12 to 20. And that run will not last long. And look who's got the ball, Jack Burton. See if he can rattle off a couple of good serves here. Burton sends it over. Tipped and blocked to the front court of GCU. 13 to 20. That was Alex Shmalev over there getting his hands on it and knocking it straight back down. Burton will continue to serve. Twenty-one to thirteen. Carl Applebach to serve. Applebach will serve for the Anteaters. Twenty-one thirteen here in the second set. Lopes looking for some late set magic. Applebach. Hughes hustling for it. He'll set it up. Janky with a touch. Kept alive. Tipped again. Janky. Over to Hughes. Hughes to Schwob. And it's going to be a point for the Anteaters. Oh, Affelbach will continue to serve. Affelbach side out. 14 to 22. Alex Shmalev will serve for the Lopes. Yeah. 
Burton sends it over on that rebound. Spike down and another point for UC Irvine. That little quick set that the Anteaters have going for him that just slightly changes direction and throws that Lopes block off has really been successful and the Lopes have just not had an answer for it in this match. Hughes, Janky off the front court. No block, point for the Lopes, 15-23. Hughes. It's going to be another point for GCU. That one out of bounds, 17 to 23. Heath Hughes will continue to serve. Lopes looking for a very late rally, 17 to 23. Tipped over, Burton. Lopes are looking for a violation. Janky got the point, 18 to 23. Will Schwab. And they're saying that yeah. he set that ball too low. Like in beach volleyball, you can bring it down below your chest, but it has to be above your head in indoor volleyball. Off the fingers and out of bounds. So a great diving effort by Jack Burton, but it goes out of bounds. Wilmot. Miscommunication from GCU. Kyle Thompson was coming in. It looks like Burton was coming over as well, and that's how the second set will end. So a two to nothing UC Irvine set lead. And Kyle, it'll be a fresh set coming into this one. Lopes will look to extend it to four, hopefully, and maybe five. But uh, they came into this one. It was, they knew it was going to be tough against UC Irvine, but putting up pretty significant points in these first two sets. And a, they were a step closer in that second set. So hopefully in this third set, they'll be able to win it and force a set for you. They've just got to take it one set at a time at this, at this point. Well, as we know, men's volleyball is in the midst of their season, and softball and baseball season are on their way, and women's basketball season is about to conclude, as well as men's basketball. So with a wrap-up of all of that, we'll throw it to Kyle Borg for tonight's Lopes Report. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Borg and this is your Lopes Report. Men's and women's basketball enjoyed a winning Saturday when they took on WAC newcomer California Baptist on the road and at home respectively. The women enjoyed faith and family night on Saturday at GCU Arena, winning their game 75 to 71. Deja Daniel had 24 points and 22 rebounds, with 10 of those rebounds coming on the offensive glass. She also shot 91% from the field on 11 of 12 shooting. The Lopes had three other players in double digits, highlighted by A.J. Cephas' 17 points. With her amazing game on Saturday, Deja Daniel was named WAC Player of the Week. The men headed to California Baptist on Saturday, where they won their game 90-73. The Lopes were led by Carlos Johnson's second straight career-high scoring performance with 26 points off the bench. During one stretch in the second half, Johnson had 18 consecutive Lopes points. The Lopes set another school record on Saturday, winning their third straight game of 15 or more points. Everybody that played for the Lopes scored at least four points, and they had three players in double digits in addition to Carlos Johnson's 26. The men are now in a first place tie in the WAC standings after winning their fourth consecutive game. Dan Marley was asked about how the CBU Crazies compare to the Havocs. Here's what he had to say. Uh, nothing compares to the Havocs, not even close, not even close. The men and women's tennis team hosted Kids Day on Saturday prior to the women's match against Nevada. The Lopes would ultimately fall to the Wolfpack 4-3, but will look to bounce back on Saturday at home when they take on Cal State Fullerton at 10 a.m.
The Lopes softball season will kick off on February 7th when the Lopes host Charlotte at GCU Softball Stadium. The following night, the Lopes will take on Oklahoma on Faith and Family Night, and that game will also be followed by a concert at GCU Softball Stadium. Well, that's it for this Lopes Report. I'm Kyle Borg, and thanks for watching. And we are back just seconds away from set number three here in Antelope Gymnasium. And that last and last week, a great week for sports as men's and women's basketball went in both their games at home and on the road, respectively. Both of those came against the Lancers of California Baptist. And next Thursday night, softball will kick off their season. And they are looking to have a great season. They come into the, they will start the season projected to finish second in the WAC. And on Friday next week, they will host number four, Oklahoma, which will be a great matchup for them. And they will also play 10 NCAA opponents that made the tournament last year. Should be an exciting softball season, Kyle. I'm very much looking forward to the beginning of it. Getting an opportunity to again call a uh, Oklahoma softball game as they come and visit GCU uh, should be a lot of fun. It should be an exciting season. I mean, I can't say anything more except exciting because it's not here yet. That's right. They made the WAC championship game last year. They did. Finished second. They're projected to finish right behind New Mexico State. You know, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. That's right. And hopefully GCU will not finish this men's volleyball game swept by UC Irvine as we begin the third set. Burton. Up in the air, Hughes, Janky, got the corner of the net. Lopes will start it off with a point. And exactly how you want to start this third set is getting your star freshman going early, and he finds the back corner, and Burton will get ready to serve again. Off the fingers of Shmalev, and it'll be a point for UC Irvine. Shaka Vordi will serve. One to one here in the third set. Jenke, again off that front defense, that front line of Static and Apfelbach. The two big men for UC Irvine. Static at seven foot and Applebach at six eight. Hughes, Schwab, that's gonna drop. That's gonna be a point for the Lopes. Two to two. And that one was close. And Eater saying he got his hand down to keep that one up, but the referees both saw it differently. And now the Ant Eaters will talk about it with the down official on the far side. Shmalev will serve, and they'll come talk about it. I want to talk about Will Schwab for a second, who just got the point for GCU. Will, we had an opportunity to talk. Well, where we're set up is right next to the men's volleyball locker room. So they come through during pregame. And Will, great guy, walked in with, I got to say, the best shirt I had ever seen anybody wear for pregame. It's a long sleeve Hawaiian shirt. I wish I had taken a picture of it, but Will, if you're listening after the game, wear that shirt all the time because that is a beautiful shirt. And according to Will, he got it for five dollars. But I'll say I'll say this. I had to pay any price for that shirt because it is gorgeous. It was a great shirt. <laughs> Maybe it's his lucky shirt. Maybe it is his lucky shirt. We'll see if the luck can continue as Shalev will serve for GCU 2-2. Doesn't get luckier than $5. That's true. Schwab keeps it up. Janky spikes it down. Three to two, Christian Janky. Put it down, young man. Everybody here is excited about wow. that one. <laughs> he got up. Shmalev. Into the net. Scott Static on the return puts it in the net. Lopes up four to two. 
And you know, Christian Janke, not that short. He's listed at 6'5", but wow, can he, he got, jump yeah. out of a building? Shmulev. GC Irvine on the return and out of bounds. Five to two for GCU. And you're talking, you know, Janky's wearing the Kobe's, so I'm a I'm a big Lakers fan, so maybe it's maybe it's the Kobe's giving him some extra height. It's gotta be the shoes. Shmulev in the air. Kobe sends it over. Oh, that's tipped. They'll look for the return. And it'll be a point off the fingers of GCU. Nine Miller. Janky sends it over on the return. Set up and spike down. Apfelbach. Four to five now. Well, just not quite ready and set on that return. Schneidmiller will keep serving. Sent over. Off the hands of GCU. You see Irvine on the return again. Front court! Uh, it's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be you see Irvine ball five to five now. It's going to be a point for the Anteaters. Schneidmiller will continue to serve. Janky sends it over. You see Irvine setting up their attack. Sent out of bounds. Point low, six to five. And there you go. Get momentum back. Get your serve back. Heath Hughes. Hughes, the freshman, sends it away. Hughes. Tipped by Schwab. You see Irvine keeping it alive, and it goes in between Heath Hughes, and we're tied at six. And that was a really good spot on the Anteaters' attack to find the hole in the defense. And tie this game back up. Scott Static will serve. And he'll serve it out of bounds, seven to six. This is where GCU's got to capitalize on the mistakes of the Anteaters. Christian Janky to serve. Christian hops, Janky will serve. Janky setting it up. Hughes over to Burton, off the fingers. You see Irvine keeping it alive. Tipped, ooh. Beautiful hit by Wilmot. It'll be a point for UC Irvine, 7-7. Seven seven. And it was that little touch set again, just threw that Lopes defense off just enough. And there's not a whole lot you can do about that because you don't know what the setter's thinking. And you can't defend it either way. Served over and out of bounds, 8-7. to seven. Shmulev will come back in. Thompson will serve. Thompson, Janky, setting it up for Burton. Off the fingers, you know, they're gonna say he, too many hits there for GCU. Oh, I'm sorry, it was a lift for GCU, and uh, we are tied now at eight. Kubi.
Schwab sends it over. And you see Irvine doing a good job of finding the holes in the Lopes backfield or backcourt. Another point for the Anteaters. And Wilmot will serve. Going to set it up. Jakey! Air Jakey with a point. 10 to 9. Burton will serve. Burton sends it over. You see Irvine setting it up off the front court. Kept alive. And another point for you, see Irvine, 10 to 10. Chakravorty will serve. Tied up at 10 here in the third set. Hughes, Janky. Janky again. Oh, big block by Scott Static. Great idea from Christian Janky trying to just send it right back over. But the Ant Eaters read it well, and Scott Static was right there. Scott Static, the big seven footer for UC Irvine. Shakavorty, Udall. Over to Hughes. Hughes to Janky. And he stepped out of bounds. The three point for GCU. It's going to be a double hit on the set. His hands just didn't quite meet the ball at the same time. And it's a good eye from the officials as that happened on the far side. And when, when that happens, you can just tell by the spin of the ball. Shmulev sends it over. Off this arm of Schneidmiller. Point for the Lopes, 12-11. Shmulev's uh, team leading 14th ace on the year. He is a dangerous server. Shmulev will serve again. Sent, and that's going to be another point. Back to back for Alex Shmulev. Alex Shmulev to serve. Shmulev sending it over. Is it going to go out of bounds? Give him three. 14 11 for the Lopes. Timeout, UC Irvine. Momentum shifts in the direction of the Lopes. And we will see if they can keep the momentum. We'll be right back right after this. We have been the experts in clean since 1945. We help businesses keep their facilities cleaner, healthier, greener, and safer. We are passionate about what we do and are committed to making your workplace environment the cleanest and healthiest it can be. There's an exciting destination for food, fun, and golf in the heart of Phoenix. Come to the GCU Hotel and Canyon 49 Grill, where our hospitality management students gain real-world experience and deliver unmatched service. Enjoy beautiful amenities like a resort-style pool, full-service fitness center, championship golf course, and coffee shop GCBC. Canyon 49 Grill serves American fare all day and happy hour with a great vibe and Lopes pride. Room rates start at $89 per night. Visit gcuhotel.com today. Back here in the third set, 14 to 11, thanks to three straight aces by senior Alex Shmulev. And the Lopes, you can feel it in the air. The momentum has made its way back to the side of GCU. And the Anteaters just called that timeout to try and ice Alex Shmulev, but he's a great server when he's got it rolling. And in this set, he's really got it rolling. Shmulev will serve with a three-point lead here in the third set. Sent away. This time kept alive by UC Irvine. Oh, off the hands of Shmulev. And 
And that set again looked really low, below his shoulders almost. And the Lopes bench was looking for that call again. And maybe at some point they will get that call. But currently still just setting it legally. Schneidmiller sends it over. Janky. And it's going to be a tip and point for GCU. Great job from Will Schwobe to send it off the top of the block. Heath Hughes will serve 15 to 12 for GCU. Hughes. Off the hands of GCU and it'll go out of bounds. So good defense up front for GCU, just goes the wrong way. And Johnny Bowles will come back in for GCU. I'm sorry, for UC Irvine. Bowles will serve for the Anteaters. Burton. Heath. Out of bounds. Hughes setting it up, but sent too far out. Bowles will serve again, 15 to 14. That one out of bounds, point for GCU. Lopes really maintaining that lead that they started off the set with. When they, I think they lost the lead one time, but haven't relinquished it since. Air Janky will serve. Spike down, another point. Quick point for Austin Wilmot, 15 to 16. Affelbach will serve for UC Irvine. Janky. Schwab looking to keep it alive. He won't. And we are tied at 16. Good hustle by Will Schwab. Clears the bench over yeah. there. No, most importantly, Will Schwab didn't get hurt going after that ball. He had to climb into the, uh, the seats to try to track that one down. Affelbach will continue to serve. Sent over. And Burton off his hands and out of bounds, but returned by some of the fans. And we got a timeout for GCU as UC Irvine leads 7 to 16. When we come back, we'll get the rest of this third set. You're watching men's volleyball here on GCU TV. Forces heroism, courage, and bravery give greater meaning to what it is to be an American. Grand Canyon University honors you and pays tribute to you and your family. As a community, GCU celebrates your service, your sacrifice, and your commitment. God bless all the brave men and women who put our country first. We want to do the same for you. GCU puts you first with its flexible and convenient online degree programs. We salute you and thank you for your service. Back here in the Antelope Gymnasium, 17 to 16, UC Irvine lead. We've been going back and forth since the beginning of this third set. And the Lopes, well, they've, they're down now, but for the most part, they've been keeping up really, really well with the number four ranked team in the nation. And they've seemed to found their groove here in the third set. And they have really taken it right at the Ant Eaters, which is something they're going to need to continue to do in order to finish off this set with a win and hopefully win the match all overall. Applebach sends it over. Hughes. Oh, that's going to be, yeah, that's Lopes ball. 17 to 17. 
Trevor Weary stepping in and he'll serve. Weary. Tipped. Oh, beautiful touch by Shaka Vorty. 18 to 17. Kubi will serve now, 18 to 9, 17. Sent over. Hughes up top, Janky. Blocked again by that front line. 19 to 17. Kubi. Austin Wilmot with that block on that last point against Christian Janke. Hughes, Shalev sets it over and out of bounds. Point for the Lopes, 18 to 19. Will Schwab will serve. Will Schwab will serve. Schwab. Set up off the front court of GCU and out of bounds. 20 to 18. One sent over. Janky setting it up. Hughes. Burton's going to send it over. Spike down hard by Schneidmiller. And Hughes wasn't able to get in on that block because he had to hustle so far over to make a diving dig. And I'm not exactly sure why Jack Burton didn't yeah. take that one. He was closer to it. But I guess Hughes might have called, called him off. But great hustle. Well, regardless, 21-18 here in the third set. When we come back, we will conclude the third set and hopefully go into a fourth. You're watching men's volleyball here on GCU TV. There's an exciting destination for food, fun, and golf in the heart of Phoenix. Come to the GCU Hotel and Canyon 49 Grill, where our hospitality management students gain real-world experience and deliver unmatched service. Enjoy beautiful amenities like a resort-style pool, full-service fitness center, championship golf course, and coffee shop GCBC. Canyon 49 Grill serves American fare all day and happy hour with a great vibe and Lopes pride. Room rates start at $89 per night. Visit gcuhotel.com today. 21-18 here in the third set. Lopes looking for a rally, and UC Irvine looking to close it out in three. Austin Wilmot will serve. Austin Wilmot will serve as he sends it away. Touched, kept alive. Schneidmiller, Udall. Hughes to Schwab. That one's going to fall. It'll go out of bounds. Point Lopes. 19 to 21. We had Brian Garcia very close to the booth. A good hustle. Saved the table. Yeah, very well, good hustle by Brian Garcia. Again, happy he's not hurt. He did a great yeah. job. Did a great to job. Avoid the table. Yeah, almost and got all of us over here. Yeah, I agree. Burton will serve. Touch, Schwab keeps it alive. Hughes up to Eric Janky and spiked back down. 22 to 19. Scott static again. It is so hard to break through that seven footer. That is nine blocks, excuse me, 10 blocks for Scott static. Jack Avorti, Udall. Schwab, 
Sent down and out of bounds, 20 to 22. Will Schwab feeling the power of the $5 shirt. Lopes really fighting to stay alive, and here comes Alex Shmalev. Shmalev rattled off three aces early on in this set. Shmalev. And he sides out 23 to 20. Very, very close for Alex Shmalev. Schneidmiller will serve. Sends it over. And out of bounds on Jack Burton. Point 20 now for UC Irvine. Schneidmiller looking to close it out in three. Schneidmiller, Janky, Hughes, Air Janky. Kept alive by UC Irvine. Hughes tips it over, Janky again. It's gonna be a point for the Lopes, 21 to 24. We are not done yet. Janky will have double digit kills again. Still yet to have a game without double digit kills. Hughes sends it away. And he dives, Burton, great hustle, but it'll fall for a point. And that is how the game will conclude. UC Irvine gets the victory in three and go 2-0 on their road trip here to Phoenix, Arizona as GCU gets their first home loss. But I will say this, Christian Janke, phenomenal game. I'll say this, phenomenal game for a lot of guys. Will Schwoe, Christian Janke, Trevor Weary, and Alex Shmalev all played very, very well. Heath Hughes, a lot of the freshmen getting an opportunity to play. As we all know, everybody's not going to be here for four years. So Coach, excuse me, Coach Worley getting an opportunity to see some of the younger players. A lot of guys played well. Heath Hughes, a freshman. Cole O'Donnell, or Udall, excuse me, another freshman for GCU. And, to stay this close for this third set with the number four ranked team has got to say a lot about this GCU team. This Lopes team very was resilient, and they have been all, and they were all match long, despite what the scores reflected on this match. The Lopes showed great hustle. The freshmen played outstanding. There's not much more you can ask. It's just a very tough front line to get the attack going. When you have a seven footer and a yes. couple six nine, six eight, six eleven guys up front, there's not a lot you can do. Well, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash GCU. Tomorrow the Loves will be back at it against Charleston at 4 p.m. Kyle Borg will be on the call alongside Luke Larkin. You can catch it all right here on GCU TV. For Kyle Borg, for everybody here at GCU TV, I'm Phil Katofmo, wishing you. A great rest of your night, and as always, go Lopes.